Hi, I'm Tyler Oakley. And I'm Becca Frucks. And welcome to Top That, your weekly pop culture cheat sheet to what everyone is and will be talking about on the web. Each week, Tyler and I attempt to top each other with our own top five of what's hot on the web. But this week, we are doing something extra special in honor of One Direction's album release. This is an official One Direction countdown. Are you ready? This is huge. This is like everything to me. The best countdown ever. Let's do it. Harry has gone above and beyond. He's not even wearing his pants. It even makes the milk taste like tacos. It's basically just seven hours of us being idiots. Okay, so for my number five, we have to start where it all began, and I am talking about the One Direction auditions. This is when we embraced all of these little kiddos from the very beginning. They were fetuses singing their hearts out. It's just little X factors. It was just... It's like when we first saw the, our entire future ahead of us in these dumplings of children, and I was impressed. I loved each and every one of these auditions, but a couple of them stuck close to my heart. I really liked Isn't She Lovely. Isn't she lovely, made from love. Uh, Just with like, the curls, With the, the curls. Hair. It was the first time we saw the curls, and I was like hooked ever since. And the ladies were already reacting. Everybody was like loving it. And an interesting fact was Niall only got through because of Katy Perry. Of course, you're in. If it weren't for Katy Perry, we would not have the blonde bombshell that is One Direction's Niall Horan. Liam, it was his second audition. He right. had previously auditioned two years prior. He wasn't quite ready when he came to my house two years ago. But I said to him then, come back two years time and you're gonna be a different person. I got it right. <laughs> so, I mean, we have a lot of people to thank for the lineup that we have today because it could have gone any direction. But thankfully, it went one. It went one. Keeping with the X Factor theme, yep. my number five is the finale show. Oh, what a moment. Uh, so Wonder Action is, of course, amongst the, the finalists. And they do a little thing at the beginning of the episode where they go back to all of their hometowns. My favorite. Oh, my God, it's so adorable. So they don't actually get to go back to Ireland because of bad weather. We couldn't go home to Ireland because of bad weather. But me and the lads went to a TV studios instead and went live to Ireland on Ireland AM. They go to Louis' school, mm -hmm. and Louis is like palpably nervous. I'm more nervous now than I am on a Saturday night. You left town being just, just a normal, normal guy. Kid. You come back. Conquering hero. A superstar. And he's just like, whoa, he was not prepared for that kind of reaction. And I think every one of them you see on their faces, like, Wow. What this did we is just a real get ourselves thing. I'm coming into. back to my hometown and it is a totally new game. Right. They are crazy super famous. They get mobbed at like a record store in Zane's hometown. So then the whole thing, of course, culminates in their final X Factor performance. They chose Your, your song. song by Elton John. It's minimal theatrics. Yes. All talent. And you can I mean, they didn't win, as we know, mm -hmm. but it didn't matter. Oh, but they won our lines. hearts. Yes. Right. Okay, so for my number four, we need to get into when the boys have a little bit of fun. And this happened on Jimmy Kimmel. He did a little scavenger hunt with my boys, and it was epic. <laughs> um, so the boys were in Tennessee at the time, I believe. Yeah. And uh, they were promoting This Is Us. And so they were going on different talk shows, different events, blah, 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 just to get the word out there. And so they were on Jimmy Kimmel. And Jimmy put them into two teams. It was Zayn, Harry, and Liam against Niall and Louie. And it was epic. It was everything. He made them run and put on toothpaste beards and mustaches. We're going to have to give this one to Niall and Louie. Uh, very well done. Very quickly. Well Looks like he went through puberty in the land of the Smurfs. My favorite has to be the American accent. Hey dudes, what's going on, man? Uh, Far out, bro. Yeah, all right, sure. <laughs> you want to show, dudes? Far yeah, out, I live in the valley. We're here on uh, Jimmy Kimmel Life, and uh, we're in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh my God. We're oh gonna my start. God. Any YouTuber that tries to do an uh, American accent when they're British, That's they're like, oh my God. That's I'm like, they start. is that what we sound like? Apparently. Apparently, I'll run with it. Anything that the boys will say, I'll just, I'm like, okay. But I'll whole, accept it as truth. The whole thing culminates of course. Right, when uh, they all have to put underwear over their pants, and instead of doing that, Harry gets around it by taking off his pants themselves and just going, just in his undies. Harry has gone above and beyond. He's not even wearing his pants. They Give won. the people what they want. He won, and yeah. they all won purity rings. Because what else would you give the most pure angels of all time? And don't call them anything but that, because if you do, directioners will attack you on Twitter. Just ask GQ. 
I'll take you down. All right, my number four, One Direction gets animated by a fan. This is The Adventurous Adventures of One Direction. This, like, exploded. Oh. I remember the day this came out, everyone out was posting it. Yeah. 31 million views and counting currently. You have to give it up to this guy. Hi. My name is Mark. Just Mark. Um, he's a dude who takes on animated One Direction. This is no small task. Yeah. I mean, they're larger than life. How do you put them in into cartoons? Hi, guys. Hello, Hello Zane. Zane. Whoa, new hairdo. Yeah, what you think? It's, uh... It's quite steep. This was right when Zane, Zane got, got his got new the haircut. Big, steep hair. This was amazing. It was so good. So they have they have superhero alter egos, of course. Which I think they do in real life. Obviously. And they answer to Simon. I, I wanna save ya. One direction. Thank goodness you're here. What seems to be the trouble, Simon? It doesn't look good, boys. What doesn't look good? Oh, Zane's new hairdo? It's very Power Rangers. The, the yes. face that Simon is, it's like identical to, um, what's his name in Power Rangers? Something like I'm with a Z. I'm thinking about the Charlie's Angels guy. No! No? Uh, girl, no. Well, there's the generation gap so right there. So we've got <laughs> Power Rangers, Charlie's Angels meets One Direction. Basically, all of the pussycats are being st stolen by a villain and the boys must, must retrieve them so they get a pussy magnet from Paul McCartney. And this makes sense, <laughs> of course. Watch it. Trust me, yes. it makes sense. Speaking of fans, we got to get into some controversy because directioners love drama. Mm -hmm. My number three is when the Story of My Life video did not break the Vivo record and instead got leaked early by Vivo. This was so much drama. Vivo accidentally uploaded the video, I think, a day early. How do you accidentally? I mean, that, you're literally holding I, like a honestly, treasure in your hands. You I, think that would be protected? I think it was a smiler because they were going up against, you know, Miley's oh. record. Perhaps it was Conspiracy. a smiler among the Vivo staff. I think Directioners had it in them. I think they could have done it. Of course. But it was the fact that it leaked early that, you know, let them not break the record. It was circumstances and possibly a, a smiler It mold. was a little bit of a scandal is all I'm gonna say. So that, I mean, it was, it was definitely a staple in the uh, timeline of One Direction. Um, just history. I think it's going to be looked at as one of A the biggest blip controversies. In the radar. One of the biggest controversies of our time. The influx and the traffic that was coming in the first day um, completely crashed Vivo. And so that's the karma you I get, mean, Vivo. Oh, did did the We Can't Stop video crash Vivo? No. Did the Wrecking Ball video crash Vivo? Did it no. wreck it? No. So. Story of my life. That was just a little karma coming back to bite you in the butt for uploading too early. And thank you to the viewers who submitted this from Peyton the Dinosaur and Cheyenne Harris. Uh, we needed to talk about it, and I'm glad yeah. you guys were on board. We need to process this, and we always need to hear Tyler's conspiracy theory. I, just trust me, I have a lot of theories, and I'm pretty sure 98% 98, 98 of them are right. Yes. Just putting it out there. For my number three, Zary became parents to a kitten. Okay, first of all, the whole idea of Zane and Perry being engaged is is enough. It was enough to make us dress up as them. Yes, clearly. We, we should have had a cat when we wore them for Halloween. What were we thinking? Well, be that as it may, the kitten did happen. And I think if, <laughs> if we're all honest, it's probably practice perhaps for when they have a child. I don't know. That's what whoa, I'm thinking. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that. I mean, oh my God. Oh my God, Zane as a daddy. Yeah, I know. Just take a moment with that. I will. They got a seriously fluffy kitten. There's a little vine of Perry just freaking out about how fluffy it is. She's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! She's so fluffy! Can't handle the fluffiness. Well, oh my God, now you've got me thinking about them having a child. I mean, I just want everyone to prepare themselves. You might as well start thinking about it now. Because it's gonna happen, right? It's gonna happen. And then like Zane holding her hand and be like, push. Okay, so we have to talk about this for my number two. It was one of the most pivotal moments of my life. Mm -hmm. Probably yours, probably yours. Harry got pantsed at a concert. <laughs> this, this is so perfect. This was, it was, you know, it's what dreams are made of. Uh, <laughs> it's why we all, it, listen, God gave us sight for a reason. God, yes, 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 yes. They were singing What Makes You Beautiful, their, you know, first hit. Big ol' hit. On the stage, Harry is in the middle with all the boys behind him. He is singing his he's, solo. He's owning he is the stage. breaking it down. And right when he's at his <laughs> intimate yeah. moment. When I first heard this story, I was like, oh my God. Do we see it all? But no, unfortunately. No, yeah, the skivvies so, skivvy stay up. But I'm like, those pants are so tight. How do you not pull down everything? I have so, to say, Liam's technique must be very practiced because exactly 
I would have thought there, it, it would have been more of a. I, I would have thought, but you know, okay, I don't think, again, um, let me get into a conspiracy. <laughs> I think this was preordained. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. I think they were creating a headline, and I you think. You think Harry knew it was coming? Harry knew it was coming. Yeah, those underwear had to have been like duct tape strapped down, <laughs> super glued, because nobody would have let that happen with the off mm. chance of his pants coming completely down with the underwear. Right, can you imagine? I can imagine. It would have. <laughs> It would have burned eyeballs right out of girls' sockets. I would, yes, I would have been a corpse. I would have no longer been with us. I would have been dead, rotting. <laughs> That's it. That's all. That's all I could do. So I think they knew it was coming, but what do y'all think? Do you think it was real? Do you think it was fake? Here's, I want to know. Here's the thing. One thing Harry did not know was coming was that shoe. That, oh. Remember when it just hit him right in the junk? Yep. I think, well, that was Taylor Swift in the audience. <laughs> <laughs> all right, are you ready for my number two? Take a sip. You're gonna need it. You're gonna uh, need to be hydrated well my, for this. My thirst is unreal after that last one, so <laughs> continue. Niall doing an Irish jig when he's back in the homeland. He's so precious. Oh my gosh, I cannot with him. He literally is just a ball of entertainment and goodness. Oh yes. Ugh, just topped with a little <laughs> blonde mop. So they, they show a tweet from a fan that's like, please do an Irish jig. Well, they do, do this every concert. Right. They show they show tweets where they do like different challenges, answer different questions. Fans can command their Very, like yes. little marionettes mm -hmm. of, of happy boy bandness. Right. And in this in this case, they were like, please give us the Irish jig, and he delivered. <laughs> Fancy footwork galore. Yes. I mean, the only thing that would have made it better is if he got pants at the end of it, but you know, at that point, Harry had already taken that glory. I have to say, I I think my senior prom, maybe, no, my junior prom, I went to prom with an Irish step dancer. Is that sure. what they're called? Uh, like jig dance? Uh, and she, Lord of the dance. Lord, she was a Lord of the dance, and she did not even compare to Niall's moves. Okay. So just putting it out there. Sorry, date of Tyler. Sorry, Anna. Back in the day. Sorry, Anna. All right, Becca. I think it's time for our number the one. The number one, we're doing it together. One D Day! Day! It is the most monumental moment of all of our lives, the culmination of everything we've all been waiting for. It all is going to happen in a seven hour live streaming extravaganza. Basically just seven hours of us being idiots. If you go to one dday.com, you, you can tell them anything you want them to do. It's basically everything I've ever wanted in my life. Mm -hmm. Ryan yeah. Seacrest is gonna be there. Grown She's gonna the be boys. there, yeah. You know, <laughs> of course. I mean, who do we think? What celebrities? I think Katy Perry should show up. Katy should. I mean, she's the one that got Niall in the band. So that needs to happen. I what think Lady Gaga celebrity? should show up. Mm -hmm. Because be. you know Lady Gaga has been very supportive of uh, the boys this, this era. Miley. Harry is obsessed with Miley right now. He yes. dressed up as her for Halloween. Yeah. We might be there. In spirit, for in, sure. <laughs> at least. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> at the very least, I am sending my soul. Wait, no, 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 no. If you are watching this, go to one dday.com yes. and tell them you want us to be there. Just do it. Just, I mean, why not? -ish? I mean, if you feel it in your heart. I feel it in my heart. So that's coming up. Uh, it's on November 23rd. It's seven hours long. We're going to be watching. If you're going to be watching, let us know. Um, but we, could, we couldn't end this countdown without talking about that because it's the biggest thing they've ever done. I'm just going to I'm going to put on some 1D nails. I'm gonna put on a 1D onesie and I'm gonna just park myself in front of a computer screen. God and bless. Soak it up. You are living my dream. So that is all we have for you guys this week. This was a special little 1D countdown. I absolutely loved it. If you guys loved it too, push the thumbs up and subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide for more episodes of Top That every single Friday. And happy future 1D day. We cannot wait to share this with all of you. Later, y'all.